Romano Guardini, the 17th of February 1885 to the 1st of October 1968, was an Italian-born German Catholic priest, author, and academic. He was one of the most important figures in Catholic intellectual life in the 20th century. Topic: Life and work. Guardini was born in Verona, Italy, in 1885. His family moved to Mainz when he was one year old and he lived in Germany for the rest of his life. He attended the Rabanus Morris Gymnasium. After studying chemistry in Tübingen for two semesters, and economics in Munich and Berlin for three, he decided to become a priest. After studying theology in Freiburg im Breisgau and Tübingen, he was ordained in Mainz in 1910. He briefly worked in a pastoral position before returning to Freiburg to work on his doctorate in theology under Engelbert Krebs. He received his doctorate in 1915 for a dissertation on Bonaventure. He completed his habilitation in dogmatic theology at the University of Bonn in 1922, again with a dissertation on Bonaventure. Throughout this period he also worked as a chaplain to the Catholic youth movement. In 1923 he was appointed to a chair in philosophy of religion at the University of Berlin. In the 1935 essay, Der Heiland, the Savior, he criticized Nazi mythologizing of the person of Jesus and emphasized the Jewishness of Jesus. The Nazis forced him to resign from his Berlin position in 1939. From 1943 to 1945 he retired to Mooshausen, where his friend Joseph Weiger had been parish priest since 1917. In 1945 Guardini was appointed professor in the Faculty of Philosophy at the University of Tübingen and resumed lecturing on the philosophy of religion. In 1948, he became professor at the University of Munich, where he remained until retiring for health reasons in 1962. Guardini died in Munich, Bavaria on 1 October 1968. He was buried in the priest's cemetery of the Oratory of St. Philip Neri in Munich. His estate was left to the Catholic Academy in Bavaria that he had co-founded. Reputation and influence Guardini's books were often powerful studies of traditional themes in the light of present-day challenges or examinations of current problems as approached from the Christian, and especially Catholic, tradition. He was able to get inside such different worldviews as those of Socrates, Plato, Augustine, Dante, Pascal, Kierkegaard, Dostoevsky and Nietzsche, and make sense of them for modern readers. His first major work, Vom Geist der Liturgie, the Spirit of the Liturgy, published during the First World War, was a major influence on the liturgical movement in Germany and by extension on the liturgical reforms of the Second Vatican Council. He is generally regarded as the father of the liturgical movement in Germany, and in his Open Letter of April 1964 to MGR. Johannes Wagner, the organizer of the Third German Liturgical Congress in Mainz, he raises important questions regarding the nature of the liturgical act in the wake of individualism, asking whether it is possible for 20th century Christians really to engage in worship. Is it possible to relearn a forgotten way of doing things and recapture lost attitudes, so as to enter into the liturgical experience? It was his glad hope that after the call by the Second Vatican Council for liturgical reform, the Church might shift its focus from that of mere ceremonial though important to the broader idea of true liturgical action, an act which embraced not only a spiritual inwardness, but the whole man, body as well as spirit. He himself gave an example of his meaning, a parish priest of the late 19th century once said, according to Guardini's illustration, we must organize the procession better, we must see to it that the praying and singing is done better. Quote. For Guardini, the parish priest had missed the point of what true liturgical action is. The questions he had asked should have been different. They should have been, how can the act of walking become a religious act, a retinue for the Lord progressing through his land, so that an epiphany may take place? Pope Paul VI offered to make him a cardinal in 1965, but he declined. As a philosopher he founded no school, but his intellectual disciples could in some sense be said to include Joseph Pieper, Luigi Ghiassani, Felix Messerschmidt, Heinrich Getzeny, Rudolf Schwartz, Jean Gebser, Joseph Ratzinger later Pope Benedict XVI, and Jorge Mario Bergoglio later Pope Francis. In the 1980s Bergoglio began work on a doctoral dissertation on Guardini, though he never completed it. 
Pope Francis cited Guardini's The End of the Modern World eight times in his 2015 encyclical Laudato Si, more often than any other modern thinker who was not Pope. Hannah Arendt and Eyring Fetcher were favorably impressed by Guardini's work. He had a strong influence in Central Europe, in Slovenia, for example, an influential group of Christian socialists, among whom Edvard Kochbuk, Pino Malacher, Vekoslav Gurmak and Boris Pahor, incorporated Guardini's views in their agenda. Slovak philosopher and theologian Ladislav Hainis was strongly influenced in his works by Guardini, whom he met personally, and promoted his ideas in Slovakia, writing a short monograph. In 1952, Guardini won the Peace Prize of the German book trade. The 1990s saw something of a revival of interest in his works and person. Several of his books were reissued in the original German and in English translation. In 1997 his remains were moved to the St. Ludwig Kirch, the university church in Munich, where he had often preached. Guardini's book The Lord, published in English translation in the late 1940s, remained in print for decades and, according to publisher Henry Regnery, was one of the most successful books I have ever published. The novelist Flannery O'Connor thought it very fine and recommended it to a number of her friends. Topic selected bibliography Godas were Klute. Brief Uber Cell Building, 1921 Von Heiligen Zeichen, 1922 1925 Der Gegensatz, 1925 Grundelgung der Bildingsler, 1928 Das Gut, Das Guessen und die Samling, 1929 Christliches Bewusstsein, 1935 Das Wesen des Christentums, 1937 Dante Studien, 1. Band, Der Engel in Dante's Gottlicher Komödie 1937 Welt und Person, 1939 Der Tod des Sokrates, 1943 Die Lebensalter, 1944 Freiheit, Nade, Schicksal, 1948 Das Ende der Neuzeit, 1950 Sorge um den Menschen, 1962 Begegnung und Building, together with O. F. Ballnau, 1956 Dante Studien, 2. Band, Landschaft der Uigkeit, München 1958 Dante Studien, 3. Band, Dante's Gottliche Komödie. Ihre Philosophischen und Religiosen Grundgedanken Vorlesungen. Aus dem Nachla Herausgegeben von Martin Marshall. Grunewald, Schoening, Mainz, Paderborn 1998, ISBN 3-7867-2129-7, ISBN 3-506-745599-X Topic Major works translated in English The End of the Modern World. Sheed and Ward, 1957. More recently in a revised edition by Issy Books, 1998. ISBN 978-1-882926-23-7 The Art of Praying, The Principles and Methods of Christian Prayer. Sophia Institute Press, 1994. ISBN 978-0-918477-21-7 7 The Lord. Regnery Publishing, 1996. ISBN 978-0-89526-714-6 with introduction by Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger The Essential Guardini, an anthology, edited by Heinz R. Keen. Liturgy Training Publications, 1997. ISBN 978-1-56854-133-4 The Spirit of the Liturgy. Crossroad Publishing, 1998. ISBN 978-0-8245-1777-9 Living the Drama of Faith. Sophia Institute Press, 1999. ISBN 978-0-918477-77-4 Learning the Virtues. Sophia Institute Press, 2000. ISBN 978-0-918477-64-4. The Death of Socrates. Kessinger Publishing, 2007. ISBN 978-1-4325-5430-9 The Rosary of Our Lady. Sophia Institute Press, 1998. Sacred Signs. CreateSpace Independent Publishing Platform, 2015. ISBN 978-1508832089 References Topic. External links Works by Romano Guardini at Project Gutenberg Works by or about Romano Guardini at Internet Archive Romano Guardini National Institute for the Renewal of the Priesthood The Spirit of the Liturgy by Romano Guardini